G'day mates, my name's Mary O'Neill Phillips, originally hailing from the land down under. I'm Zach Phillips, originally from South Georgia, and this is our puppy, Forrest, Forrest Gump. We packed up our house in Nashville and we're doing what we love most, traveling the country in our RV in search of the next adventure. We're at our house in Nashville packing up. It's a busy day. And aren't we the rednecks of the neighborhood? We got the bow fishing boat and the RV. What you say? I say let's go shoot some Rios. We're gonna go shoot some Rios, but Mary ain't coming on this leg. We're going to Texas. You wanna come? I'm going to Australia. Wanna come? I think I prefer to go to Australia on this occasion. So. We're going to Texas to kill some turkeys. She's going to Australia to see some family. With my pink leather pants. Yeehaw! Those were my pants, but I outgrew them. <laughs> All right, we're going to Texas. All right, love you. Force be a good boy. Well, about $500 later, and we're about halfway to Texas. So, we'll get there eventually. I think it's going to be the middle of the night by the time we get there, so I hope them boys find some turkeys for us in the morning. Oh my gosh. Stop! We just made it to Texas. It's three in the morning. We gotta leave to go hunt at 5.30? Yeah. Whew, I'm going to bed. We'll be out doing turkeys here in a couple hours. Take a nap. First morning in Texas, we found Blake. I took a nap, I woke up, there he was. So we walked under that tree and it was full of turkeys and they flew everywhere. And Blake said, that's how we do it here. But then they didn't come back. It wasn't exactly my technique, but it it happened either way. He acted like it was, so now we're gonna go chase him down. When you get two hours of sleep and you go hunt, everything bad happens. Everything stupid happens. You forget everything, you're discombobulated, you break stuff. Um, like this mic clip, I lost it, it broke. Uh, I've lost my Tetras. I do have my gun and shells though, so. We're good. If Blake would quit scaring turkeys, we'd be all right. Oh, hey, buddy. How you doing? All right, so I came in this morning with a technique that most people don't usually use. It's called um, bust them off the roost. It didn't work. It didn't work. I heard of a guy that used to bust them off the roost and go hunt them, but he had a real funny accent, and he had a dog. Yeah, and it was winter. And it was winter. Yeah. Well, it's cold. Oh, you're high backing down there, It's buddy. cold, so I was thinking. It is cold. That was gonna work out. We just went for a ride around. We found a group of turkeys down in the bottom, a couple strutters in there, so. We're gonna figure out what Blake wants to do and then we're gonna do something different. I dropped my mouth call in the sand. Now I got sand on my teeth. Not ideal. Must be back here, Blake. I think they're around the back of the window. Yeah, There's a lot of thick stuff. I think he was up on top by that corner. It's hard to tell from what I... Hey, since we only glassed that one, I'm gonna stay back and call behind this tree. I like the idea of you calling and me shooting. I like it a lot better. We should do that all the time. Number one on the ground, baby. <laughs> all right, we'll, we'll slip up to that shadowy spot up there. Call good. We'll get back here. Call good. Get up, brother. First Texas turkey. There was three of them. I shot the first one. I liked it a lot. First Texas turkey. That's right. He didn't flop too much, did he? Good. Yes, I 
turns out it worked out. And just like that, I'm home in Australia. Um, I'm home for Easter with my family and we've gone straight down to my farm, which is my favorite, favorite place in the world. This is my niece, Laura. Say good day. Good day. We'll be doing a couple things around the farm today with the bees and with a couple things. So I'll bring you guys to my farm. So my dad bought our farm when I was about four years old. Um, when he was a younger gentleman, he went and worked out in country Australia um, and he helped build a school out there in a place called West Wylong and he, he um, helped farm with the wheat farmers out there and it was always his dream to buy a farm. And so when I was about four, he bought this place and this has been my family's special spot ever since. This is Princess Molly. This is my dad's dog. She's an angel. We love her. Hi, Molly. And then, so all the little bits of wax that we're pulling off is going into here, and all these scraps can then be melted down for Bridget these to make. Wax scraps and um, we make candles. People even use it as chewing gum, don't they? They do. It's really good for polish, for like furniture, leather polish, and stuff like that. A lip balm. Lip balm. What do you mean beeswax wraps? So what you do is you get bits of material, you cut, to, cut them to the size of your containers that you use in your kitchen, your storage yeah. containers yeah. or bowls. Yeah. And what you do is you cut them and basically you melt this wax down, you put the cotton into it, you let it dry and it works as a plastic wrap for over your, and it's reusable, like you can use for it for what? years and years and years to keep your food insulated oh. and in the fridge, yeah. Instead of using plastic, you put your leftovers into a bowl and just use a beeswax wrap like that. Yeah. You can't put them in the dishwasher, obviously, but you just rinse them as normal. And if they start to lose their, um, like, it, mold. Yeah, their mold on them, you just put them back through a bit of wax and, yeah. Well, there you go. Sustainability, people. Our first hunt has turned into our second hunt. First evening here, uh, we came back, really the same exact area. We killed my first, what? Earlier I said I hadn't missed one in a while, but like, I missed but then killed him. So does that count? Absolutely. It's a miss? It's a, no, it's a kill. And a miss. Texas turkeys. Just whooping them today. He didn't want to, he got run off by two jakes and he didn't want to come on in here. You don't want to come in here and act right? That's fine. We'll shoot you. Does this spot look familiar? Killed my first one right there earlier. Like right there. That's right. You're good. You're a good alternate to Mary. That's, I look better. I mean, absolutely. Hold on. Yeah, maybe. To some people. For sure. That's right. Some people. Each their own. Oh. Uh, that's my second Texas turkey ever. Ever. Two more to come. I'm proud to kill them. That is so awesome. Blake, thank you again for the invite. Yes, sir. Glad y'all could make it. Whew. Levi got dog poop all in the car. your vault forest i mean there's poop everywhere it's on the floor mat it's on the door right there look in the corner that's duty i ain't touching that forest cleaned up 
your fault. Well, at least that's the cleanest part of the truck. But Matt. <laughs> the truck's horrible right now. <laughs> He's not wrong. We're having a really hard time deciding whether to go to New Mexico or Nebraska. The only way to settle this. Which one's heads, which one's tails? Nebraska's heads. Yeah. Nebraska's heads, New Mexico's tails. Nebraska. Nebraska it is. We're going to Nebraska. That was easy. Let's go. I know where they're at. And a bloody big thank you to all of our partners. Now go have some fun in the turkey woods, everyone. Cheerio!